Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark. Today I would like to present a first pass at estimating the Mythic Ratings distribution in Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, if you don't know what Mythic Ratings are, these are the scores that are the ratings that determine where you are in the ladder. Like this, These are what your rank is based on. Right? So if you, if you have a rank of like fourth, that means that your Mythic Rating is the fourth highest. That's what it means. And if you want to learn more about Mythic Ratings, you can check out my other video in the description to learn everything that you need to know about Mythic Ratings. All right, so we know that Mythic Ratings are now available in the log files. And therefore, what we want to do, or what I want to do, is to estimate the Mythic Ratings distribution for people who are on the ladder. Like if you look at the mythic ratings distribution of everyone on the ladder, what would it look like? Obviously, we don't have that data, right? We don't have the mythic ratings of everyone on the ladder at the end of the season, which is what we want. But we do have some of them because there are trackers like Etherhub and uh, MTG Arena Pro who collect the mythic ratings data from the log file and display them on their leaderboards. And so we were able to get those data from the leader, but they're publicly available data. Right? So we, can, we were able to get those uh, data from the leaderboard uh, and then combine them with a few more bits of data from members of the horde. And so we were able to come up with a data set, which we then tried to impute in order to construct an estimate of the mythic ladder. But so, as a reminder, this is a first pass, right? So our data isn't very good. And uh, everything that we're doing to the data is the least, probably the least elegant way of doing things. There are probably much better ways to do these things. So they're a bit more complicated, uh, but the better, but better. But we're not doing that for this video. So this is our first pass. So yeah, uh, pardon the uh, non-elegance of these solutions. All right, so first let's look at our raw data. So this is our raw data. So these are the data points that we were able to gather on what the mythic ladder looks like uh, towards the end of the season, particularly July 30 to 31. The, the mythic season ended on July 31. So these are all the data points that we have. The blue ones represent data points that were uh, last updated on July 31st, while the black dots, the black points, represent data that were last updated on July 30th. So like I said, first pass, not very good data. So each of these dots are actually an ordered pair of a rank. So these at the bottom, these at the bottom are what you see on the client. Right, that's your rank. So this is uh, rank 250, for example, uh, and so on. While these are the ones that you see in the log file, the Mythic Ratings MMR. Okay, so, so as an example, so rank number five, I think here, uh, these are not, we don't have rank one, for example. I think we have, we have, oh no, the, this is rank five. So rank five, I think, is, has, has a Mythic Rating of over 2,400. That's pretty high. That's pretty, that's a, you're very high. Okay, so we have this data, but as you can see, there are gaps, right? So, so for example, uh, here we don't know what the mythic ratings of these are, of the people between the, these, two, these two ranks, but we do know what these two ranks are, right? We are aware, we are aware what rank this is and what rank this is. So for example, this can be rank, uh, say 230 and then this can be rank 240 right just hypothetically that that can be 230 and 240 so we know that in between them are just 10 people actually nine 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 people right now number 31 to number uh, number 231 uh, to number 239 those people are in this gap and at the same time, since we know their rating, so we also know the rating of 230 and the rating of 240. And so we know that the ratings of 231 
to 239 are bounded by the ratings of these two people, which will allow us to impute, right? That will allow us to impute possible values. So there are multiple ways to do this imputation. Again, first pass, what we just did was to take the mean. So just take the mean of the rating of 230 and 240, that becomes your rating or the average rating of everyone in between. And that's what we're going to assign to everyone in between. You can be a bit fancy about it and say that it's normally distributed in between those and then generated from a normal with that mean and some standard deviation bounded by bounded by those two ratings. But again, we're trying we're just doing the 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 the, uh, the least elegant but easiest way to do this, which is yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's fine to do that here because basically what we're trying to do is to have a sense of uh, of width, right? To have a sense of width in our data set, and so otherwise we other otherwise we won't know, right? The data set won't the data will not be uh, able to to incorporate that between 230 and 240 between those two data points. There are only actually exactly. Uh, uh, nine items if we don't impose this this uh, this uh, imputation so we do get something even though we are we are doing the uh, simplest imputation possible we do get something back right so this is what the imputed data set is going to look like so we impute so as you can see now the red the red dots here are the imputed data points the blue and the black ones are now both black uh, dots. So as you can see here, that's our imputed uh, data set. And so this is a estimate of what the mythic ladder from rank 1 to rank 1750 something looks like. All right, so that's our estimate. Okay, so what can we glean from this data? So if we take these mythic ratings that we have here and we construct a density plot of those mythic ratings so this is what we're going to see so these are now these are where your mythic ratings are in the x-axis this time uh, and now this is a density plot of those ratings and the blue line that you see here is the rating of of the rank number 250 okay so that's the rating of rank number 250 which would mean that these people are the ones who are able to get slots for the uh, qualifier weekend for this uh, for for this month of August. Uh, of course, of course, remember that uh, Wizards also granted qualifier invites to uh, another 500 people due to the bug, right? Due to the ratings ranking bug that we encountered a few days ago. Uh, and some of those people may also be here in this top 250. I think I'm here in the, this top 250 and was there in the top 500 uh, but others may of course are not are not in these in this top 250 because those are not like 500 people versus 250 people people here right so that would certainly again this is another thing why we're just making a first pass because uh, this won't be what the ladder is going to look like this month right so this is an underestimate of what of the competitive level of the ladder shall so get on I'll, I'll get uh, to discuss some more in, in another slide. But as you can see here, so this is what the density is going to, to look like. Okay, so another way of looking at this is what if we can try to separate this distribution, this density that you see here? What if we can try to separate it into two, uh, two groups, two clusters? So without going to the technical details, we can do this using what we call an EM algorithm. Uh, or a k-means, or in this case, two means uh, estimation. And we can do that, so we did that, uh, and we did that, and then we separated the two groups into two different separate histograms, and this is what you get. Okay, so, so this uh, group, the red group here, is 331 of the data points. So that, the, the 331 data points were classified, were categorized into one group, while the rest, I think 1,400 plus data points were classified into this gray group. So it's the algorithm, the EM algorithm that does this classification and that's how it was classified. And all the algorithm knows is that we're, we're assuming that there are two, two clusters, that are two, there are two, uh, there are two clusters. 
right so but this is uh, this is not far from what we're expecting right because so so you can look at it as though this uh, red cluster this red cluster is the cluster of uh, among which most of the people who are in the top 250 uh, will come from right? at the end of the season at the end of the season that's very important this is not to say that these were people who were fated to, to get here uh, at the top 250 uh, it's just that at the end of the season this is what the snapshot looks like so most of those people are going to come from here some of them are going to come from the gray the gray as well so as you see there's an overlap right there's an overlap here and this overlap is what you would you might consider the contentious region uh, of ratings towards the end of the season towards the last hours of the season so there will be like uh, people from the gray from the gray uh, region here who are trying to win games so that they will have ratings that are good enough for them to be able to make the top 250 at the same time there are people here in the red region who have ratings that are uh, high enough to make top 50 but are uh, hoping that they will not be bumped out of the top 250 by the people trying in the gray region trying to get in All right so so the the main takeaways uh, that we can have that we can get from this uh, first pass uh, look into the ratings distribution is that if things stay the same uh, or, or at least not be very different in this coming month then if we're looking at this distribution this is like pretty safe region right having like 2000 uh, mythic rating and above that's like pretty safe uh, that's assuming of course that everyone stays at the same skill level and at the same uh, motivation level uh, this month and we know that it's going to be a bit more competitive since we don't have that free 500 slots that, that Wizards gave away this month but uh, it doesn't mean that's going to be uh, everyone has ratings to 2000 but that's possible that's entirely possible it all depends on how competitive and how good people are or entering the ladder and another uh, very huge weakness of this first pass uh, is that we do not have a lot of information on what the mythic ratings are of the people over here right so the percentages the ones in the 99% 98% which are a lot more people there, there are probably a lot more people here than there are here but we don't know anything about that we don't have enough data uh on on those so so we can only hope that we get better data for this month uh and we can think about how to analyze uh the different the different aspects of this problem better like how to make better imputation uh, how to estimate it better how to estimate uh the clusters better uh and of course there's always a chance that some of the big trackers will conduct their own analysis they have a lot more data than we do uh looking forward to that actually <laughs> all right okay so i hope that this uh this short presentation i was able to enlighten you on what the ladder mythic ratings uh distribution looks like and i hope that it provides some insights on uh whether or not you would like to pursue or on, on, whether, on what rank you or rather what rating uh, you should you should aim for suppose you want to uh, pursue top 250 or top 1200 uh, this season uh, or even help you decide whether you want to do that all right that's it for me thank you for watching please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content and I'll see you again next time. May the Shuffler be with you always. Hi, we're The Horde, a Magic Arena amateur team composed of players across all levels of skill and experience. We're not pros and have our own jobs and responsibilities outside the game, but we strive to help each other develop towards excellence in both limited and constructed play. If you would like to join, sign up through the link in the description and then jump into our Discord. See you there!